Preps, welcome back to our Art Lessons Online. This is week seven and we are ready to go with our paper mache cup decorating. Hopefully everyone got their paper mache all done and they've got lots and lots of layers. Let it dry and it's now nice and hard. If you haven't gotten your paper mache done, do not stress. Keep going with that this week. Keep going with it next week. Do it on the weekend. Do it on the after in the afternoon. Work at your own pace. You do not have to have each task done every single week. Work at your own pace. Do some of the other activities I'm uploading as well. So if you are up to date and you're ready to go ahead with decorating your paper mache cup, what, you will, um, what we will be doing this week is separating our cup from our paper mache. I'll show you how to trim the top so that it's nice and neat. We'll need a marker to draw a design onto the side of our cup and then we are going to be painting our design. Now I'm going to be using acrylic paint. If you don't have any paint, I'll show you a couple of quick nifty tricks to make paint using things at home or you can always just use textures. Remember paper mache, when it dries, it is paper mache or papier mache, but it is made out of paper. So once it dries, we can color onto this just the same as if it was paper. Alrighty, so feel free to use textures. It's a lot tidier. I'm sure mum and dad might appreciate that little trick, but today I'm going to show you using paint. I want everyone to make sure today that they are wearing a, same as last week, a top that they don't mind getting dirty or maybe an art smock over the top of their clothes, just in case we make a little bit of a mess. There might not be much mess this week, but just in case. Check with an adult that they're okay with you doing the task today. And for those of you who have not been doing our paper mache, don't stress, maybe you can get it done over the holidays or something, but there is another task for you to do that will be linked to you as well. Let's see what we need. So what you will need today is your paper mache cup. You will need some scissors to trim off the top of your cup. You'll need a black marker to mark in your design or you can also use a pen or a um, pencil. Have some newspaper ready to go if you are wanting to paint. Make sure you paint over newspaper so that you limit the mess that you are making. Have some paint brushes ready to go. I also have a plastic, uh, sorry, yeah, a plastic plate um, ready to go so that I can put my paints onto that plastic plate um, as a paint palette. I have some acrylic paints that I'm going to use, that's just what I have at home, any paints will do. And if you do not have any paints at home, don't stress, I'll show you how to make some paint using um, shaving foam, that's one of the ingredients I have, or you can also use your flour and water glue combination in order to make your paper mache glue and you can add food colouring to those things to get the colours that you want. Have some bowls ready to go and of course we want to have some sponges and tea towels just so that if we make a bit of a mess we can clean our fingers or wipe up the spill. Now make sure that um, an adult has said it's okay for you to use food dyes because once dye gets onto fingers it's very tricky to get out. Once it gets onto cloth or tables it's very tricky to get food dye out. So make sure that they help you with that. Now to separate the paper mache from your cup mould, you need to very carefully create little gaps between the cup and the paper mache without bending the paper mache. So this is why I asked you to use a flexible cup that you could bend. Alrighty, so we bend in the side and we can see some air is getting in there and the air getting into that gap will help us loosen. I, uh, loosen the cup from the paper mould. So I'm starting to make that separation happen. Once I've done that, I can very gently try and twist my cup around in its mould. If it's a little bit stuck, just keep working on it very gently and then very slowly I can try and pull my cup out of my paper mache mould and there we go. Next what you want to do is ask an adult to help you out, grab some scissors and because the top of our cup is very jagged and wild looking, 
we're just going to trim that so that it's nice and neat. Next, what you're going to do is work on a design for your cup. You might like to draw it on with pencil or you might like to draw it on using a marker. I'm going to do a nice big F. Well, Fiona, because that's my first name. There we go. And on the other side, I've drawn a nice big flower. Alrighty, now it's time to mix up some paints if you don't already have paints ready to go. So make sure you have some newspaper down so that we're not making a big mess. And make sure you have all of your materials out and ready to go so that you're all organised. Now while you're painting, it's a really good idea to put your hand inside the cup. So hold the cup from the inside. That way you can rotate your hand and the cup as you paint around the cup. All right, so make sure you're holding it not close to your body because you'll get paint on you, but away from your body and painting carefully around your cup until you have fully painted in your design. And then your cup needs to sit somewhere outside in the sun or on if it's not a very nice day you can sit it on your kitchen table on a piece of newspaper somewhere where it can dry. I hope everyone has had lots of fun at making our paper mache cup. Like I said take your time with it. You can always do this again over the holidays or over the weekend or when you have some spare time. Have some fun with paper mache. Have some fun with the designs and I hope you've all enjoyed. See everyone next week.